In today's video, I will be showing you how to fix issues with Fortnite crashing, freezing or just not launching on your Windows computer. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and you do like the video, then hit that subscribe button because we're always doing videos showing you how to fix errors and problems and speeding up the performance in games. So if you want to see that sort of stuff, then like I said, hit that subscribe button. So the first thing you need to do is ensure Windows is up to date. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to click on settings. You now need to click on update and security and you then need to click on check for updates. And this is now going to ensure that Windows is up to date. If it does detect any new updates, go ahead and install those updates. And then once you have installed them, restart your computer. And that will then take us on to the next step. But before you move on to the next step, it's very important to ensure that your computer does meet the minimum requirements for Fortnite. Because if it doesn't, then you're not going to be able to play the game anyway. It will just crash and not launch. So I will pop the link in the description below where you can view the minimum system requirements for Fortnite. So once you have restarted your computer and done the Windows updates, you now need to ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. This is very important and can resolve a lot of issues when it comes to Fortnite freeze and crashing and it can also improve the frame rate in game. If you're unsure what graphics card you have in your computer, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then clicking on device manager. If you now expand display adapters, you will then see your graphics card. As you can see, I have a GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to head on over to the Nvidia website and then download the driver for a GTX 1660 Super. And once I have downloaded the driver, I then need to install it. I will pop the links in the description below to Nvidia, AMD and Intel, where you can grab the driver for your graphics card. So once you have installed the latest driver for your graphics card, the next thing you need to do is just go ahead and launch the game and see if updating Windows and updating your graphics driver resolves the issue. If it didn't, then don't panic because the next thing we need to do is find the .exe for Fortnite. So you need to go to the location where you installed the game. I'm going to go ahead and open up File Explorer now. So once you have opened up the location of where you have installed Fortnite, you need to go into the Fortnite folder and then open up the Fortnite game folder and then binaries, Win64, and you then need to scroll all the way down until you come across the .exes. You now need to right click on each one of these .exes. So I'm gonna start off with the top one here and go to properties. You then need to go on compatibility and then tick run this program as an administrator and disable full screen optimizations. Press apply and OK. And we need to do this for every single .exe. And then the next one. So there are four of them in my folder. You might have more or you might have less. But just go through each one going onto properties, compatibility, and then we want to run it as a administrator and disable optimizations and then once you're happy and you have done that to all the .exes you now need to go to the location where you installed the epic games launcher i'm going to open up that location now once you're in the epic games folder you now need to open up the launcher folder and then open up engine and you now need to open up binaries win64 and then scroll all the way down you now need to right click on the epic games launcher.exe Go to properties, go to compatibility, and you then need to tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. And you need to also do the same for the Unreal Engine Launcher. And once you've done that, go ahead and launch Fortnite and see if that resolved the crashing issues you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is ensure you have everything closed when you are launching Fortnite. And also, if you are using any programs like Discord or GeForce Experience or MSI Afterburner, ensure you do not have the overlays enabled because these can also cause the game 
to crash. Once you've done all that and if that still didn't fix the issues then the next thing you need to do is ensure that your security software is not the problem. If your security software is blocking Fortnite from running on your computer then that will make the game crash or freeze or just not launch at all. So disable your security software for a temporary period of time and then launch Fortnite and see if it works then. If it does, then you need to add Fortnite to the exception list in your security software. Just remember you are not protected from viruses when your security software is disabled. So be very careful and obviously turn it back on straight away as soon as you can. A lot of security software do come with a game mode or a passive mode or a silent mode. If yours does have that option, then enable that option and try and launch Fortnite with that option turned on. If you're still unable to launch Fortnite or you're getting the crashing issues and freezing, the next thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select download and you then need to go save file and you now need to run the downloaded file. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, click I accept and then next. And you now need to choose if you want to install Bing Bar. I don't want to, so I'm going to deselect that. And you then need to go next. It's now going to see if you have the latest DirectX files installed. If you don't, then it will install them. And as you can see, I am all up to date, so it didn't do anything. But if yours did just update DirectX, then go ahead and press finish and launch Fortnite and then see if you are still having any issues with the game crashing. If that didn't fix the problem, then the next thing you need to do is open up Fortnite. You now need to click on the three lines in the top left hand corner and you now need to select the settings cog. You now need to click onto settings and you then need to select the video tab at the top here with the monitor icon. We now need to scroll down and you need to change your quality presets to low and you now need to scroll down even more until you come across the rendering mode and you need to change this to DirectX 11. Once you have done this go ahead and press apply and now jump into game and hopefully that has resolved the issue with the game crashing. If that did fix the issue with the game crashing, then the next thing you can do is just slowly increase the quality presets to medium and then to high. And if the game then crashes again, then go back down another preset. So if you're still unable to play Fortnite without it crashing, then the next thing you need to do is completely close down Fortnite and go back to your Windows desktop. You now need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to download the latest C++ to your Windows computer. So if you scroll down, you have two different options to choose from. You have the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. To be able to play Fortnite, you need a 64-bit version of Windows, otherwise you won't be able to play the game. So I'm now going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version of C++, as that's the version of Windows I'm using. Once the file has finished downloading, go ahead and run the setup file and if you already have the latest C++ installed, like I do, you will have the option to repair or uninstall. If you don't have it installed, you need to go ahead and click on install. If you do have it installed like myself, you need to click on repair. And this is now going to see if it can repair C++. So once that's finished, you now need to go ahead and restart your computer. After you have restarted your computer and installed the latest version of C++ or repaired it, go ahead and launch Fortnite and see if that fixed the issues you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is create a new local user. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and select settings. You now need to click onto accounts and you then need to click on family and other users you now need to click on add someone else to this PC and you then need to click on I don't have this person sign in information and you then need to click on add a user without a Microsoft account. Now go ahead and follow the steps in creating a new user and once you have go ahead and launch Fortnite on that user and see if that resolves the issues you're having. If it didn't then the next thing you need to do is open up the Epic Games launcher. Once you have the Epic Games Launcher open, you now need to select Library in the left hand side 
and you now need to find Fortnite and you then need to click on the three dots. You now need to click on verify and this is now going to check all of the game files for Fortnite to ensure none of them have become corrupt or missing. Once it's finished, go ahead and launch the game and see if that fixes the issues you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in CMD. You now need to right click on command prompt and run it as an administrator. You now need to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then press enter. This is now going to check all your Windows system files to ensure none of them have become corrupt or missing and if it does detect an issue it will attempt to repair them and it will then let you know if it did detect an issue and repair a file. Once this has finished and if it did repair some files, restart your computer and then launch Fortnite. If running a system file checker did not fix the issue with Fortnite on your computer, then the next thing I would suggest is try reinstalling the game. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then hit that subscribe button. If you subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.